Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And today I do have the pleasure to show you the new Glashütte Original Panomatic Luna with a dial varnished in green and black with a degradé effect. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Panomatic Luna, where does the name come from? That's easy. So we do have a panorama date or panorama datum as it is written here in German. Matic means that this is an automatic watch. I will show you the watch of course from behind with the nice movement. And Luna means, yes, it has a moon phase indication. So this is why the watch is called Panomatic Luna. So it is a steel watch with a diameter of 40 millimeter. The thickness of the case is 12.7 millimeter, 12.7 millimeter. And the so-called lug to lug distance. So the distance from one end to the other end of the watch from one lug to the other lug here is 47 millimeters. This, as I just said, is a steel watch coming with a leather strap and a folding clasp and the entire weight of the watch is 90 grams, 90 grams. The color green is getting more and more popular. So this is the latest addition to the Panomatic collection that is of course not new. At Class Hütte Original, you all of course know this type of display and there are versions existing in various colors as blue, silver, etc. before. But now it is a green dial, varnished green dial with a black degradé effect. So what is the, this degradé effect? This means then from the outside to the inner side, the color is changing from more dark to a more lighter green. And depending how you are moving the dial in the light, you will see that the effect is there. And then we do also have this legendary Soleil sunburst effect. And you can clearly see when the light reflects, it builds this kind of sunny effect on it. Soleil or sunburst effect is on top. The dial features um, indexes that are applied. So these are applied indexes, very nicely done, of course. What else would you expect from Gasutti Original? The legendary panorama date, as you see here, the panorama date, built out of two discs that display from zero to three the numbers and here from zero to nine the numbers and together when adding up, they built a big date indication, a panorama date indication. Done in white, this time not matching the color of the dial. Why? Because it's taking some inspiration or vice versa. The moon face is taking inspiration from the panorama date. But to have a nice contrast also with the white indexes, uh, the white uh, super luminova that you have in the hand. So it's really uh, in terms of colors, we, we do have two colors on the dial and this is white and green. So this is really perfectly then done. And in this case, I do not have to insist uh, in saying that I would have wished that the color of the date discs is matching the color of the dial. No, it's not necessary in this case. And I will now uh, pull out the crown in the first position. This is, I have just been doing it. And then you can now see how the date is changing. I will quickly run you through. And then you see now the one has appeared in the left. The left disc is from one to three. So let's continue 12 and so on. And then you will see when I reach 18, 19, now 20. Now you will see the two appearing. Yes, there it is and so on. I will continue my little journey here and then we have the three that appears 
there it is and then the 31st and then it will go back to zero and there you see it's the first again and then to set back the watch to the eight where I started this is how it looks like very easy to operate through the crown in the second position first position of course is winding the watch and how to set the moon face if you need to do it yes here little uh, integrated push piece you just need a pointer like this one something that has not sharp let's say it has is able to point in there and should not be sharp this is what i wanted to say not to scratch or harm the material plastic can of course not do it a pencil would do it or something similar you can easily do it so and uh, watch now if i am using the push piece uh, what happens you can see i am advancing the moon day by day and once the moon disk disappears on the other side of course new moon starts and there's the second half of the disk coming up and displaying every day until full moon as we do have it now on the display so how is the watch changing the so-called panorama date let's discover it together i've been pulling out the crown already in the second position advancing the watch until 8 30 pm and we will now discover watch the eight what will happen we are approaching midnight and then we will see what happens you saw it as instantaneous and it is almost around midnight some minutes plus minus that the movement is changing the date the steel case has some satin brushed parts and some polished parts you probably have already discovered them uh, while whilst i was showing you the watch so you see here polished parts and uh, satin brushed parts features a sapphire crystal on the top and yes also on the back and that's the next thing i will show you that's the movement of the watch the caliber 90-02 from a glasshütte original So this is the Kaliba 90-02 from Glashütte Original. That's an in-house manufactured and, of course, developed movement specifications. Uh, it's a 4 hertz movement, 28,800 semi-oscillations, um, 4 hertz, 42 hours of power reserve, an automatic movement. You can clearly see the automatic rotor here. It's a decentralized rotor. The watch features a three quarter plate with stripe finish, screw balance, duplex swan neck, fine adjustment, skeletonized rotor with 21 karat gold oscillating with beveled edges, polished steel parts, balanced bridge engraved by hand and uh, partially with perlage so this is the entire technical description and what i wanted to say for us this uh, so-called three quarter blade is a typical design feature or technical feature that uh, identifies quickly movements that have been um, conceived and developed in glass with a typical way how they do their movements so putting the watch in a different position uh, enables me to explain you a little bit what I have been talking before. This here is the double uh, balance bridge or the balance bridge that has been uh, engraved by hand. You can see this and it features a duplex swan neck fine adjustment. Uh, yes, and in between you see the balance wheel and this is a so-called screw balance nicely done the decoration on the balance bridges very nicely done looking good and uh, something uh, when you are turning the watch around that always will enable you to discover more details if you wish what else can we discover on the movement the glass original logo 
Here it is written that the watch is adjusted to five positions. On the other side, you will have a remark about that the watch features 47 jewels. And here is written made in Germany. And now the uh, different engravings on the case back. So you have a stainless steel. Here you have glass hütte original. You have the indication of the water. Proofness five bars and a serial number here. So this is everything you may discover when you turn the watch around with its nicely decorated rotor with the logo. As you can see, this is the Gasuti Original logo. Skeletonized rotor, 21 karat, and it's also marked here. There is a hallmark saying 21 karat, so a rotor with a 21 karat gold segment. This is a nice shot where I can nicely show you that the so-called soleil effect of the dial, the sunburst effect, is only there where you have either the hour and minutes dial and of course the small seconds. So the soleil effect is only there. But what we also do see here is this uh, green and black degradé effect. So you can see that from the outside turning to the inner side, the dial gets brighter. So it's a degradé effect outside, it's more black and turning more green towards the center of the dial. And of course, yes, the subdials or the two dials are having this nice sunburst effect. Very nice angle. Yeah, yeah, very nice. <laughs> The moon face indication uh, also features a scale starting from 0 to 29 and a half and showing you approximately the age of the moon face when you look at it. The Panamatic Luna is uh, sold with a Louisiana alligator notebook leather strap in brown with either the folding clasp as you do see it here or if you are more into a pin buckle, you can also uh, buy the watch with a simple or for me even better pin buckle, but this is up, uh, yeah, tastes are different. And this is the strap, nicely looking, a brown Nubuk alligator strap, shown from the other side, here it is. And this is a folding clasp. You close it, you better insert the end. And there you go. This is how the watch looks like when the folding clasp is closed. There you go. Pin buckle or folding clasp, of course, makes a price difference when you are buying the watch. So if you decide to wear the watch with a pin buckle, you will have to pay 9,500 euros. And with the folding clasp, the watch is sold for 9,800 euros, both including a VAT of 20% here in Austria. And this is once again the Louisiana Alligator Nupuk leather strap in brown with that nice surface texture, really looking good, perfectly, perfectly matching. By the way, um, the green dial and the watch as it is. Very, very nice. Another angle of the watch showing this sunburst effect of the dial and this degradé effect, so this effect where the color is uh, getting brighter from the outside to the inner side of the watch. Yes, and with these pictures, I would want to say goodbye. I would like to um, ask you to, as always, post your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the watch. 
is now green? That's the big question. Is now green? As we see, such a beautiful, I am not into green, but this is not the question here. But it is, without doubt, a very beautiful, incredible, beautiful green dial. And I have to admit that the combination with that brown strap with the steel, the brush, and the, the polished surfaces. The watch is entirely a wonderful, even beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful watch. And so is now green. Is it a new trend? Is green the new, new blue, probably, as blue was the new black? Is it or is it not? Give me, um, yes, uh, let me know. Give me your thoughts. And if you have questions, of course, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching. A presentation about the Panomatic Luna and yes see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube.